Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to begin our discussion on the network layer. So what is the what are we going to learn about the network layer? In the network layer, we're going to understand the principles behind the services in the network layer. We're going to look at what kind of services the network layer provides. We're going to look at the difference between routing and forwarding. I'll also give you a brief overview of how a router works. And then we are going to look at a few routing protocols. We're not going to do all this in this one lecture. In this lecture, we're just going to focus on the network layer services and the difference between forwarding and routing. So how does the network layer work or what is the function of the network? The goal of the network layer is to transport segments from one host to the other. So <clears throat> by segments here, I mean the transport layer segments all the way from one host to the other. So at the host, the receiver, the sender actually takes the transport layer segment and encapsulates it into datagrams. This is the term terminology used in the network. It encapsulates it into the datagram. It then sends it over the network and at the, at the receiving end, the data from the uh, from the datagram, so, uh, you demultiplex and obtain the segments and send it to the transport layer. The most important thing to note is that it's in our discussion so far about the application and the transport layer, we have been only interested in the end host. The end host here is this laptop and this machine out here. And the end host, the only <clears throat> we have we have looked at is primarily because application and the transport layer only run at the end host. But <clears throat> in contrast, the network uh, the network layer runs at every, every host in the network. So all these routers here have the network layer, <coughs> layer. They do not have the application and the transport layer, but they have the network layer and, and the layers below it. So this is the main major difference that in, in our discussion about the network layer, we will be looking at all the hosts and routers in the network because all of them <clears throat> run the network and the layers below them. So here is how a packet actually goes from a source to a destination. So as you can see in this animation, the packet starts at the application layer at the sender. Then as it goes through each of those, uh, passes each of those layers, headers are added and then it passes a whole bunch of routers in the network and then it reaches the destination. Once it reaches the destination, the packet is delivered from the physical layer to the data link to the network and then from the network to the transport layer. So this, is, <clears throat> this slide gives you a high level understanding or an overview of how the network layer works. Now, what are the functions of the network layer? The two important functions are forwarding and routing. So there is a very important difference between forwarding and routing. Forwarding is a process of moving a packet from a router's input to the appropriate router's output. That is forwarding, it's just moving packets from a router's input to an output. Routing is a process of determining a route between the source and the destination. So let's look at an analogy here. You say you want to go from Boston to San Francisco and you're planning a road trip. The, pr the process of determining how, where, how you're going to take the road trip is routing. For example, you could start from Boston, then go to DC, then go to Atlanta, then go to somewhere in Texas like Dallas, then you could go to Arizona like Phoenix, and then go to San Francisco. So that is a route that you're going to take. This plan, the process of planning this route is, is called routing. Forwarding is just moving or getting through a single interchange that is just going from, <clears throat> how to go from Boston to DC. That like is just forwarding. It's just the process of getting through a single interchange. But that does not mean that routing and forwarding are not related. Routing and forwarding are deeply related. What this, <coughs> and this is how <coughs> it works. For example, the routing algorithm determines end-to-end -end path to a network. And once it has determined the end-to-end -end path to, uh, to enable a packet to go from one source to a destination, it has to establish a bunch of rules at each of those for <coughs> routers in between. For example, let's look at this router here. This router has three outgoing interfaces, one, two, and three. Similarly, the, all the other uh, uh, routers also have a few other interfaces, outgoing interfaces. Now, a packet that arrives at this router ha can go out of any of these three interfaces. The routing algorithm, depending on which where the destination is and depending on the packet's header, is going to, to determine which is what is the output <coughs> link through which the packet should be sent off. That is the process of forwarding. So, so here in the forwarding table, it, it basically determines a local forwarding at any particular router. So let's consider 
this example, this forwarding table here. So here, what this forwarding table means, it's if a packet with a header 0101 arrives at this router, it's going to be sent on output link two. Similarly, if something with 1001 arrives at this router, it's going to be sent on output link one. So, so when a packet here <coughs> arrives with this particular header, that is 0111, the output interface for this particular packet is going to be two. So and that is the important interplay between uh, routing and forwarding. That is, routing determines the end-to-end -end path, while forwarding determines the local forwarding decisions at the intermediate routers. With this, I'll end this video. Thank you for watching.